Hey everybody, this is Glider Cat, and it's time to play. We're back in Captain of Industry. Let's get to it. We have some concerns to get to. One of them that's pretty big is the Unity. We are now running negative Unity. I've turned off one of our research labs to save Unity. I've taken off all of the boosts that we had because we had a surplus of Unity not too long ago. But one thing that's chewing up our Unity still is the... Um, Offshore oil rig. That is chewing up 0.4. It doesn't seem like it's that much, does it? Uh, what else? I think that's it. Oh, man. Okay, let's look at the... Uh, we'll have to get to that. I think there may be some answers in the tech tree. I have some ideas. Let's clear this other message here. My control tower has no designations. That's our dirt mine, so that's easy. Let's uh clear everything we've got here to clean up the noise, the visual noise. And let's mine the rest of this dirt. We'll put up a new designation for that. Uh, we'll just go flat. Boom, all of this. And all of this. We'll see how big of a uh, area the mine control tower will let us do. That's over here. We have the beacon. I believe the beacon's turned on. So we're going to try and get some more workers. Okay, that is that. <clears throat> we'll let these guys chew away at the dirt. Dirt's looking okay. I think last time we checked, yeah, pretty good. Coal looks like it's starting to rebound. We have somebody complaining here. Which problem? Cannot reach the destination. You want to get to the middle of these water collectors for some unknown reason. So let's make sure that trucks cannot try to get to these internal ones. I'm just going to turn these off. I guess I can use the dropper for this. Off, 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 off. Maybe we'll leave those two. If they really desperately need water, they can come here and grab it. Okay, those are all off. That's fine. And then for the Unity, let's see. We were working on um, oil processing. We'll get back to it. Let's look at Unity. I think one of the things we can do is dismiss this. I think we can build the captain's office and leverage those edicts that we just researched and maybe get a tiny boost to unity. I'm not positive. Uh, where would this be? Build inks, captain's office. This I believe can go anywhere. I don't think we're piping resources in or out. Here's a little spot here. That wouldn't be bad. Um, I'm looking for marginally useful space. That's probably the best we've got. I'll leave a little room in case we want to expand that water array. Bam. Let's place this down. Oh man. 200 construction part twos. <laughs> oh man. I'm paying the price for building that huge rubber belt that really set us back on construction parts anyway. Okay. Plenty of food. This will get us one more unity. Uh, and we have plenty of food. So that might just put us back in the positive. In fact, we know it will. Eviction minus two unity. Okay, growth boost minus one. We want extra unity. The only option we have right now is just plenty of food. So once this is built, and it may take a little while. What are we doing on parts? 26. Okay, this says loading the required materials. I can't tell if we actually have the 180 construction part two sitting at the dock here waiting to be loaded on the ship or not. When I seem to remember seeing this here before when we had the ship in harbor and it wasn't loading it. But let's bring the ship in. We do need to repair the sawmill. We may need to go fetch some wood, right? That's another one of the problems we have is we're running out of trees. It's going to be a while before we tunnel through this big hill and get some more trees here. We could kind of shortcut our way over here, this area, and maybe find a way up there. This land bridge has been very slow to get constructed. But, um, but yeah, we'll have to see on that. Um, yeah, we just have to wait for that captain's office to get constructed. I'm going to bring the ship back in. We'll load up whatever oil is still sitting here. 261, load cargo. We could actually 
pause the rig. I wish we could take it down to like six workers or something, right? And a little bit less unity. Hmm, I think we need to pause this. Uh, let's let it run a little tiny bit longer. We'll send our ship home. Go home. He's going to bring a bunch of crude oil with him. Escape out of here. Boom. And while we wait for things to be constructed, the beacon's on. That's taking up a little unity too. Less than two months. So that'll save us one unity when we're done. All right. Let's get back to this. We need to, what? Flare off the, the other byproduct here. The light oil. Where is that? Okay, it's on the outside. I don't think there's... <laughs> there is a clever way for us to type this. I'm just debating whether we can do it. We could go up one more level. We'll run a pipe across this way. Stacked on top of these ones right here. Boom. And then... um. I'm just trying to get this out of my face here. Run a pipe three high here, come down, and then go into another flare. It's right in this little cubby. We could try it for fun. More worker shortage here. Let's see. Let's try it. I want to do it for fun. Uh, pipes? Oh, pipe twos. More construction part twos. It occurs to me I need to get in here and upgrade all these pipes too. Oh man. Not enough workers, not enough unity. Gas combustion, we're researching. Not enough workers. We could easily take down another farm. That one's paused. Let's take down another farm. That'll at least get us in good shape worker wise. More than enough. Pipe upgrades. Hmm. We have some construction part twos. I think I need to do the pipe upgrades while we see them. Can we just start doing some of these? Uh, is there an upgrade tool? There is. Do I have it selected? Okay, now I do. Boom. Boom. We're going to have to double check these later, but yeah, this all needs upgraded pipes, I believe. So let's go through the pain of upgrading these now. So we won't have to worry about it later. Do these click on and off? No. Okay, good. They stay upgraded as many times I click. Okay, that is... Set to upgrade, nothing there. Sure, I'm missing one or two or half a dozen. Looks like I got the one down below. These little nuggets, probably. Okay, that guy. Yeah, we're going to have to look at this pretty close later. But that's going to be important. Okay, they're already starting to fire up. Okay, let's see if we can route this output pipe. I'll turn that off. We'll go big pipes everywhere from now on. This is what I was thinking of doing. We go up. E for elevate. That's what I'm going to try to remember. U all the way across. Okay, then you need to find your way down. You go down here, even. <laughs> it's a little squirrely. Yeah, it's a little squirrely, but it's kind of what I want. This is kind of exactly what I was picturing, actually. Uh, plunk that guy down there, and let's cram a flare in here. Usually, I don't like compact factories. You know, trying to put things in tight spaces, but I'm doing it just for fun this time. It's not my preferred design usually. We just want to flare this stuff up temporarily. It's 
so we'll pop a flare down. Hard for me to see the arrow on this one. There it is. Boom. Uh, you're not going to take... Oh. You don't want to build here, huh? I can't tell if it's red or something. Yeah, I see a red outline. Um, Come on. That would have been so nice. Where are we here? We're two in, but we don't have a pipe in our way over here. Might be just a little too snug here. Yeah, it doesn't like it. Oh, man, that would have been nice right here, right? Hmm. Oh, man, that's a shame. That would have been beautiful right in here somewhere, nestled in here. Am I missing anything that's obvious? Is it just construction parts or something I'm missing? Not sure. Flare, no, it just takes 10 regular parts. Wait, that looks like it's gonna go, right? Oh man. Yeah, I don't know what it was. I'm there was probably red or something I didn't see. But um This looks like this might do what I want it to do. Oh man, I like it. And those are pipe level twos, so we should be good. Alright, we need to get water in here. We have water. Do we want to use this farm water? Oh, all these pipes seem to be upgraded too. Oh man. Oh man, oh man. Well, it seems like we have to pull off of here, right? It'd be crazy not to. Workers, we have 27 workers. I don't know what's going on with that, but I'm going to go ahead and turn on one of these farms again. Remember, once this gets built, we're going to use, we're going to turn on the extra food consumption. Oh, we got refugees. That's why we have workers. Okay, let's turn that off. That should help our unity. Now we're in the positive. We still have one research lab going. Tons of research parts. Almost wish I had those in a storage. Cash like a little storage here to save up a supply, but we might not need it. That's pretty good. Having these electronic parts back up a little bit isn't going to hurt us either. Because we were hurting on those over here near the uh, construction part 2 production. So there's the belt backing up for the ones going for vehicle parts and lab equipment. So eventually that'll back up. It's got to back up quite a ways and then all of them will feed in here into our construction part 2s. Anyway... Let's, uh, let's route the water. Hmm. Need to upgrade these pipes. I'm going to have to do it. Upgrade. And then we're going to continue on over to there with this line of pipe. Let's see if they'll let me connect up to this guy. Might have to, yeah, I'm going to have to destroy some of this pipe. Do it. Hopefully we won't run out of food. I can't be too liberal with my Unity usage right now, but we'll quick deliver that. Hey, let's stay high. And I guess, I mean, I could hug closer this way. I'm going to stay where I'm at. Now I need to get this water down. Um, I might do a squiggly pipe. It's extra material, but... Uh, maybe I don't need to. We can come down right like that. I'm okay with that. Okay, right now they're trucking the water over. Tons of pipe upgrades waiting. Our ship is back. It has a lot of oil. 
it doesn't have anywhere to put it. It might actually dump some in here. Let's start putting down some storage for the crude. We need to think this through a little bit, how we want to snake this all around. Do I have room? I'm going to pause real quick. I want to see if I have room to go kind of down and back up because this is dead space. I don't know that we'd use this well, unless we use that for dumping waste. But this area is going to be kind of blocked, I think, anyway. So let's see if this will do what I'm hoping. Is there enough room for just two? That'll work. I know I should be holding the shift down. I keep forgetting. Don't know if I can run pipes across that. So we'll just stick with this. Pipes here. I'm actually going to go with just level ones. We can upgrade them later if we need to. Are you not going to let me pipe? These like storage twos or something? What's the issue? Pipe. Oh, pipe two. Oh, can I not hook a pipe two to a level one? I see. Okay. Maybe? Is that the issue? Okay, cannot find valid pillars placement. Is this ground just on level? What am I doing wrong? Something weird's going on. Something obvious, probably. Those guys are happy. Why aren't you guys happy? Fluid storage. Oh man, you tell me. Can't find valid pillars placement. It's got to be the ground's just not level there. Bummer. It's the only thing I can think of. Yeah, it's happy here. Hmm, that's a little upsetting. Well, is what it is. We'll live with it for now. Uh, I'm not going to live with that pipe, though. That'll drive people crazy. Game's paused right now while I'm building this. You over to you. And let's see, how do we want to do this? Out. Just trying to think how to connect all these things up. That one could go there. Hmm. I'd like one nice array, but I'm not sure how best to achieve it. Let's just see what we can do. If I come out to this way. may not be beautiful, but it'll get us some initial storage going. And then maybe, can you hook a small pipe to a big pipe, or is that not a thing? Let's just try it here on the ground. That's a level two, right? Type two. Will you? Yes, you will. Okay. Why 
want to tie this back into here and then I guess continue on with some more storage. That might be enough actually. That might be enough. That might be enough. So we need to send oil in where, okay, let's hit play and let things proceed. Oil there and oil over here. Hmm. The ability to run pipes through this avenue is almost tapped out. We can run ground pipes through here though. Right, there's a little nugget of pipe here we can chew off. Like I said, I know I wasted some resources the way I put this down. I'm not too concerned about it. I realize this depot has a ton of storage and this one has, <laughs> has very little. We could double back and everything and then connect them up. This is going to be fuel for the ship, so I don't want to block a path off for that. Um, this gets in, this can be handy because you can run your ship, bring in a bunch of fuel. Once it's loaded in here, then you can kind of turn off the ship and save your workers and let all this get processed. You can turn off these depots as well, these fluid modules, because they take people in power also. But once you're in your, once the oil's in the storage tanks, you don't have to worry about any of that. I guess we could go down and back also. Let's mirror image this. It's overkill. But this is going to be around for a good long time. This is going to be our main source of oil for most of the game, I think. We may not even bother with the other ground reserves uh, that we have on the islands. Okay, we'll start with the little tiny pipes. Then when we upgrade, we'll, we'll get level twos. Same problem as before. I think I kind of understand why it does this this way by default, but. Okay. That's that. Then we have output here and output here. Those are going to go into a, a level two pipe. And I'm just wondering how high to run that guy. Can trucks get under here? Don't know. Could definitely run this one higher. Uh, man. Should have run that pipe higher. There's no reason not to. We started low, and that's kind of got me on the path to stay low. Um. Trucks. Well, shoot. You can always change it later. You can always change it later. We'll see. I'm not sure how often trucks are going to want to come back here anyway. Okay, I need level two pipes. They can start on the ground. Where they can end up on the ground over here. And let's do the same little goofy wiggle here just to make these kind of look similar. Even if we don't necessarily need this to be wiggly, it at least looks somewhat symmetric. All right, let's set these to crude. It's more than we possibly need. But this kind of thing buys us time later. Once this gets filled up, it gives us the option to shut, like I said, shut down the cargo ships, shut down these fluid modules, free up workers, free up power, and still have a, you know, a good supply of crude oil. Now, initially these guys, okay, let's turn off the, all the, the truck import stuff. We know that's going to be a problem. Truck import and export off. 
at least on the back, these backs, whatever this is, 10. So we don't get trucks complaining. The ship has a bunch of oil on it right now. 1,200 barrels. We are still loading required materials. What is the issue? I'm wondering if the shipyard is full and so we're not able to load parts. Why is this not? Can't unload cargo. The shipyard is full. Okay, it shows we have 20 construction part twos. We still only have eight in inventory. Uh, we lost some population. Must Maybe it's the pollution or something. Yeah, we have negative one. Our health is at minus 0.1%. That doesn't sound bad. I'm wondering if we should get storage for the bricks and this lab equipment and get this out of here. The way we can do that, the way we can do that, let's put the storage down. This is just to empty the, um, just to empty our dock, basically. What if I do... Kind of like this, the way these two belts look there. What if I just do one here? Boom. We'll call this lab equipment. That will empty product from the ship. We'll put a little belt here and connect up. Okay, so that'll feed whatever lab equipment we have on the ship into the storage and then out. And then once we get rid of that, we can just branch off of this belt into that storage and then we'll have a little buffer or something. But the main reason I'm putting that there is just to get materials off the ship because I think it's stopping us from uh, from being able to load the stuff we need to fix the sawmill. All right, we can quick deliver this. We have Unity. Let's do it. And we have plenty of construction ones. And once that's built, I can even say keep full. Hopefully we'll see this material leave the, um, leave the shipyard. We can do the same for the bricks and this copper too. Bricks down here. Where's a good place to do bricks without it looking horrible? Um, I don't have a good spot to kind of get back up on this belt. Um, <laughs> we could do one in here, jam it in. We can always rip it out later. How high is that belt? Oh, uh, let's try it. I'm going to pause and I just want to get stuff out of the shipyard. My conveyor here up to you. Can't see the pop-ups kind of blocking. I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. This will be bricks. Yeah, and this is, this one's really temporary. We're probably going to delete it. Quick deliver parts, hit play, and quick deliver the belt. Yeah, and we're just working on emptying the shipyard. We have copper to get rid of too. Let's take care of that as well. It's way the heck over here. I don't know if there's a reason to save off copper. There could be. We don't have a cash for that. That'll do. I don't know. Find something. Unity is slowly climbing up. Trucks say they are extremely busy, despite me freeing them up from delivering rubber or electronics. They're still busy. 
Oh, you know what? I have a bunch of stuff here that's not set up. <laughs> like the coal. Storage for the coal here. That's not very efficient. And yeah, three things of coal. We could solve that problem relatively quick. Uh, let's just take a look at the ship, though. Cement. Hmm. Let's cancel this and start it over. Not sure why this is taking so long. Unless the ship itself is full. Seems like it could store more construction parts. Okay, oil. Is oil getting dumped in here? Yeah, you can see oil starting to fill up here. In these tanks. So as long as they can put oil in here, that's going to... I guess that's the end of the row, right? Um, maybe I can let them import here as well. Yeah, they're dropping off oil. Okay, they can get to the front row here. Good. I like it. We need to finish this pipe as well, right? Okay, oil. Let's do that. This is our oil coming in. We're almost there. You can stay right where you're at. Or I could, yeah, I could wiggle you under. Yeah, let's wiggle this under just in case. Uh, let's see. R, we don't want to connect. That's exactly where I want it. Pipe weaving. Turned out better than I thought, I have to say. Uh, you should be able to go in there. Oh, uh, what is it? No, you should be able to go in there. What's the problem? The direction of the pipe? See what it says. Transport to selected position was not found. Hmm. I'm going to build that. I'm going to pause. And I'm going to see this pipe direction. Is it the right way? I can't see the arrows. Uh, looks like I see arrows going this direction, right? Yeah, those look right. This is the crude oil traveling in. We want it to go in here, right? Isn't that oil? Yeah. What's the problem? I don't know. I don't know what the message was there. Maybe I was off the wrong square or something. That worked. That's exactly what I want. Exactly what I want. Looks like our pipes have been upgraded. They look a little on the chubby side. I think we got everybody. That's a two. That's a two. Yeah, they look pretty good. Next, we need to store off this diesel. Okay, we got new refugees. Let's turn off the... Uh, or is that old? That might be old. Yeah, the beacon's turned off. How's dirt looking? Dirt looks good. Coal looks fantastic. That has recovered. Look at our iron. It's bounced back. We're good on that. Construction part twos still seem weak. Okay, I see lots of electronic parts there. What's going on over here? How can this guy be backed up? And this little piggy have none. Uh, it is working. That one's working. And that one is what? Missing something. Missing electronic parts. We do have one lab working. I haven't even put the uh, lab the little um, buffer. I haven't hooked it up yet. Looks like we did unload some lab equipment from the um, shipyard. Let's take a look and see if that's all gone or if it's still some in there. Okay, lab equipment's gone. I like it. Uh, let's turn off this little setting just in case. I don't want them pulling it out of the assemblers or something and trying to keep this full. What else? Still concerned about our ship not getting parts loaded. Let's look at the... Uh, it says... 
Yeah, cannot unload cargo. The shipyard is full. Loading required materials. But we've emptied a bunch out of this shipyard. What is the issue? It's something obvious, probably. This guy has crew. It only has 20. I think you need to start trying to unload more oil. A bunch of oil has come off the ship, which is good. Let's store cement somewhere. Uh, need some kind of not so useful spot. How about right here? Uh, that moved over from where I wanted it. I'm going to pull it up. Cement. Uh, we can quick deliver. And we can queue this up to just bring some over quickly. Water's looking great. Uh, water's looking good. <laughs> Not great. These pipes need to all be upgraded. Small excavator has no fuel. <gasps> What's going on? This guy has plenty of fuel. That's our fuel truck. Right? Loaded. Tree Harvester has no trees. That's why I want to get this, um, these parts loaded on the ship. Yeah, I am very confused as to why we're not getting the construction parts loaded for the sawmill. Cancel. Start loading the ship. Sawmill. Click to fetch the required material onto the ship. I don't have a ton of extra construction parts to use. That could be part of the problem. Rubber's looking great. We can always shut down the rubber plant. Diesel's looking okay. Here's our refueling trucks. Now they're sitting idle. Not sure why they look different. Tree harvester. We can mark some more trees. We're, <laughs> we're getting really low on trees. Did that take? Yeah. I suppose we can mark them all, right? No reason not to. Have at it. Have at it, fellas. Coal's looking good. Our terraforming's looking good. We're starting to chip into the coal, it looks like, maybe. Dirt looks good. We're not dumping the dirt anywhere. Here's, we have an abundance of dirt. In fact, we probably have some trucks sitting here. Yeah, waiting with coal. Fine. I'm fine with that. Iron, we said, looks fantastic. Looks like our bricks may have been delivered and done, right? Are we done with that? Yeah, no more bricks. We got rid of the cement. I don't know how to prioritize the ship here. These construction parts, that feels like a bug, man. I just don't get it. Okay, keep empty. That's the shipyard. We've unloaded almost all of that crude oil now. We have it stored. I suppose we can... Oh, I got one little pipe connection I forgot. Let's do that. Yeah, maybe it's just construction part twos, right? They're prioritizing other construction. We still have a lot of pipe being built. We have diesel fuel, I guess. I'm thinking of just another array, maybe right here. Boom, boom, boom. Very upset that we're not getting the parts on the ship. That's driving me a little crazy at the moment. Trucks are extra busy, partially because they're delivering water. We have to hook up to our farm again here, too. I uh, don't know that we need pipe two, so maybe we can get by with pipe one for a bit. And let's see if we can make it look the same. This guy kind of goes... Out and up, is that right? Out one square? Q 
Okay, we'll let the unity accrue a bit. We got plenty of housing. And we're just waiting on construction materials. Let me go double speed. Mine control tower. No available places to dump products. How is that possible? Let's fill in this area. Yeah, there's dumping here. But we might need more in the other areas. Let's uh get this all plus one for dumping. And then when we get close to this hill, once this is bridged across, we can start chewing away at this iron. And then maybe think about digging down in this area. I'm not sure what happens here. If I have to fill this up with dirt and then dig. There's nothing we saw before. We mentioned this a couple times. There's no ore under where the water is. But this, I think, is fairly deep. We're going to need to dig down to get to this full resource. It doesn't have to be anytime soon, though. We can chew apart a lot of this stuff that's above ground if we want. Diesel, I'm comfortable with where diesel is. Water, I'm comfortable with it where that's at. We're about to produce a bunch more diesel. I guess it's just construction that's lagging. We're at double speed. This guy's gonna chew up, yeah, a ton of parts. Man, I guess we can pause this. Let's pause it. Uh, or is it let's see. Bear with me for a second. What's the difference between this pause and this pause? Anything? Construction paused. Let's pause the construction on this. I really want to get to the sawmill so we can bring in wood in case we're desperate. Just with our main ship if we have to. Look at this, man. It's just not getting anything. I do kind of want this pipe <laughs> this pipe built. All our upgrades are done. These guys are trying to produce for us, and they have fuel waiting for tanks. I guess I could build a couple tanks. Those take, what, construction part ones. We have a ton of them. Where is this fuel going to end up? I'm a little nervous about making it super crowded back here. But it'd be nice to get three of these down. Let's see what we can get. I'm going to have to pause the game. I'm going to pause real quick. Not enough workers again. That's snug. This is kind of a key pass through, isn't it? Let's pull this back a bit. Maybe cheat this forward one. Go with little baby pipes here just to save construction part twos till we're doing a little better. This though, I will take a pipe two, unfortunately. All right, play. Double speed, not enough workers. Okay, we are starting to deplete on rubber. We have a ton, but we're starting to deplete a little bit. So I'm going to leave this on. I thought about just shutting this off. I do want to build belts or um, U-shaped conveyors to get coal into this guy, this guy, and this guy. Kind of something I overlooked a long time ago. And then eventually we're going to want to shut down these oil wells, save whatever oil is left in there, 30,000 or something and run an oil pipe, a crude oil pipe, all the way over here. Eww, but that's going to take a while. Uh, the other thing we could do is just, yeah, park this and move our rubber processing. But then we have to belt it. 
I just don't want to run through all this oil. I'd like to leave it as an emergency in case for some reason we get desperate and we can't run our ship due to crew shortage or power or something. I do need workers. Um, I can adopt. Let's do it. I think we're able to adopt now. We can do it here. Not from that community. They don't like us. Boom. Okay, that gets us the workers we need. Did you get any parts? You've not got any parts. Oh man, it's driving me bonkers. Nothing's paused, right? I know I keep building things. That's the only thing that I think is holding us up. But man, these uh, construction part twos got delivered post haste. The water pipe's done. We just have this little section of pipe. We have more work here. Oh my gosh, I can't even build this till we have concrete slabs. Uh, what we can do for that problem though is maybe trade concrete slabs over oh, wood. <laughs> it's like the thing we're short on. I think we have to do it. I think we have to do it. Oh man, that's getting scary. We really need to repair this thing. Deliver cargo. Okay, waiting for materials delivery. Our ship just went off with 20. Maybe that's necessary. Maybe that's what has to happen. Nervous about the wood. We can trade for it. Or we can trade for the concrete to finish this building. Goodness. Goodness, goodness. We have all the construction part twos. Yeah, let's see what the ship does. Uh, maybe I'll triple speed things for a bit. Yeah, we have construction part twos. Look, they're starting to climb up. Construction part ones look fantastic. Wood's okay. Coal, all the, everything else looks fine here. We click here, we can see everything, everything. It's looking pretty good. We have workers. We don't have any problems with waste. Okay, ship delivered cargo to the sawmill. Let's see. What's going on here? It still needs more. Okay, fine. Come back. Go home. Maybe it will load some when it gets back. I'll keep it on triple speed. This construction is paused. So we're not losing construction part twos to that building project. In fact, I don't think... Where are they going? They're going somewhere. Are they going to the shipyard, please? Maybe. Yeah, 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 check it out. We're finally getting some on the shipyard. Nice, okay, good. We need that wood. <laughs> we need that wood so we can trade for concrete blocks. In fact, we're probably safe to do that now. Yeah, let's do it. That will allow this, uh, this guy to get built, the cargo depot. So I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna trade for concrete. This is 20 for 20, let's see. Oh, rubber, even better. We'll take that. Yep, yep, yep. No brainer. Uh, it does cost a little bit of unity, but we've been accruing it, so we're in good shape. So, we'll, uh, yeah, you know what I'm going to do? Mm. We know we can recover wood here. I was thinking this was um, rubber for bricks. It's not directly. So we have this as an option if we run out of wood. We've got tons of rubber. Let's go back to the other settlement and get our concrete. One, two, three, four, five. I know the cost goes up as we buy it. But I think that's instantaneous. Now we've got 60 showing there. And some have already been delivered. So we have enough to complete this cargo. And our ship, our cargo ship should show up. 18 workers short. How is that possible? Oh, is it working? No. Okay, 18 workers here. How are we 30 workers down all of a sudden? 31 workers. Are people dying or something? Or did the, this guy just fire up? OK, 
Okay, we have a worker shortage here on this cargo terminal. These guys all need workers. All of a sudden, they were firing. Trading dock doesn't have anybody. I'm looking where I can kill off some work. Not kill off, but um, <laughs> that's kind of brutal. Not looking to kill off workers, but I am looking to free up workers. What happened? Maintenance looks great. How do we get down to minus 32 in a blink? Usually that's something else coming online. Uh, in fact, our research just stopped. You think that would free up workers? Let's pick something. We have edicts. We could pick more edicts that might allow us to avoid problems. Settlement power. That's going to, I think, allow us to generate extra unity. Let's do that. We need to kind of stay on top of unity more than I thought. I think I'm going to go for that. Start research on that one. I'm not sure how we're so short on workers. 32 short. Guess we can fire up the beacon. It's going to cost us unity. Beacon doesn't have enough workers. We still have a ton of food. We can shut down farms again. Okay, now we're down five. We can shut down, let's see, construction part ones are doing pretty good. Let's free up eight more workers out of this. That's production we're not desperate for. What we do now, workers look good at the moment. There's our, oh, there's 12 workers, right? From the cargo ship. That's probably what happened here. Okay, this is what's going on at the offshore oil rig. They only have 600 and whatever, 80 units. We don't care about that. So we'll let these guys sit. In fact, we can pause this guy. And we can pause these two until we're ready to go fetch oil. We've got plenty of diesel at the moment. Four tanks full. And we have diesel over here. What I want to do now, I want to shut this down. Let's do it. We're going to shut this diesel operation down. Save this oil for some later date. We'll just use it for plastic at the moment. It frees up a few little workers. Not much. We'll let rubber... Rubber, I guess. It's fully backed up. I guess we could shut this down for now. Boom. Maybe that gets us a farm. Because none of this is really productive. And so what does that mean? We can let this one pump produce some diesel. For us, that's a quite a few workers, but we'll let that run. Now we have 32 workers all of a sudden. Let's kick on the farms. Four workers. And this may be a good place to stop. We'll let the offshore oil rig, oil rig run. It's not fully staffed, but it's half staffed. They've got a lot of storage. We'll let that run as is. Need to get this going. Let's see before we leave for the end of the episode. Let's see if we have the parts we need on the ship. Cargo 180. That's got to be enough now, right? It's more than enough. I feel like something went strange with that. All right. Deliver cargo. Off it goes. All right. So we will have wood. We have a up armored ship next episode. Let's take it to the pirates. We'll start hitting these nodes somewhere. There are more cargo ships for us. It looks like two more at least, right? That we can find and we can maybe use one to start bringing in wood. In the meantime, we may leave our ship out here and have, have it haul back some wood. Cause we're, we're in trouble. We're in trouble <laughs> with the trees. We're running out and we're not really bridging effectively to another area of land that has trees. This, like I said, this land mass is taking forever. 
it's one of the only open dumping sites. So hopefully <laughs> that's why our trucks are probably a little busier than they otherwise would be. But yeah, let's wrap this one here for now. This is GliderCat saying thanks so much for watching. Special thanks to GliderCat patrons and channel members whose contributions to the channel make this content possible. If you'd like to join that group of very appreciated individuals who are helping support the channel, there are links to do so in the description. I'd be grateful for the support. Also, thanks to everybody for the comments and suggestions and giving the videos a thumbs up. I really appreciate that as well. And I'll see you all in the next episode.